And welcome back folks to Let's Play Back to the Future the game. We're on episode 2 and we're continuing from where we left off in the last part. So we need to go talk to Edba. Edba. What's all this? These are my pamphlets, laying out in scientific detail the horrors visited upon those who succumb to the temptations of alcohol. Lost Fortnite. I'm particularly fond of that one. It tells the true life tale of Johnny, who woke up in a pile of his own sick, completely unable to remember the previous two weeks of his life. Heavy. Actually, the pamphlets are quite light, see? Edna! What? What was that song you were singing earlier? Do you like it? I wrote it myself. It really gets the toes tapping at the Stay Sober Society meetings. Although I suppose that could be the shakes. Would you like to hear it again? Uh, sure. Unfortunately, yes, I, I do. if I waited long enough, somebody would request it. You say you've lost your self-respect, but you should care. It's not too late to redirect and start to care. Don't despise the good and pure. Time to rise up from the sewer. Wash off all that foul manure. Show the world you care. You should care. You should care. What people think of you. A horrible look, lady. A ghost that you could name. Good name in your good name, your name is what you want to do. You should care. You should care. If your reputation is in disrepair, it's not going to hurt you to reclaim your virtue, for you should care! Ah, my ears. Catchy. You really think so? Yeah, it's, uh, got a good hook to it. One needs a good hook if one is fishing for souls. happen to know anything about Trixie Trotter, would you? Kid Tannen's latest conquest? Well, she claims to be a lounge singer from Seattle, but my sources in Washington have never heard of her. I mean, honestly, Trixie Trotter, what kind of name is that? How's that song going over? Oh, if only I could convince a few of these night owls to stop and listen. Would you like to hear it? Not again. Uh, maybe later. I'll be here all night. What's going on with you and Emmett? The last time I saw you, you seemed to be kind of interested in him. That was before I belatedly realized that his agreement to host my Stay Sober Society was a clever ruse to ferry barrels of hooch to his so-called laboratory. Sorry about that. Now his very presence fills me with an irrepressible urge to pick at his philosophical and intellectual foundations with every tool in my vocabulary. So you're not dating? Dating? <laughs> the mere thought of romantic involvement with that undisciplined techno-anarchist is preposterous. Good. See ya. Keep fighting the good fight. Apparently I need to go now. I know we'll have to go back to her at some point. Uh, I'm trying to remember the... Uh... In gratitude for your continued service, J.J. Valenti. You know, a cigarette lighter shaped like a gun seems like a really bad idea. Kinda yeah, does. That's the one. If I remember rightly. Where the hell's a soup kitchen? Again. Go past here. Hmm. I know I'm supposed to go, I'm just trying to remember what to get to sell to get to the soup kitchen. Why do you have to walk so slow? <laughs> Don't ever forget to soup kitchen. I forgot how to get to the soup kitchen now. Hmm. 
What am I doing here? Where the f There's an alley I need to go into. Ah, there we go. Right then, now if you remember in the last episode, episode 1, there's a little trick. There's some note I remember me mentioning some note on the paper and the plug in not to read it. Who sent you? Ulysses S. Grant. What did you bring me? Meat and potatoes. What's the word? Words are for wimps. Now I'll tell you why, because if you'd have read that you'd have been classed as cheating. But I'll show you how you get this password system. Basically the last word they say is the first word you say. Who died and made you boss? Boss Hog. Boss Hog? What will you do tomorrow? Tomorrow... So we got Row, Row my boat. Row my boat? Where you born? Born. Borneo. Borneo. Welcome to L Kids, sir. Now you'll get a trophy for that password door. I can't remember what it's called. But that's only if you didn't look at the piece of paper on the counter when you're rescuing Arthur in the first episode. But those are only for PS3 things. I don't know if the Xbox has got the achievements. No, Steam hasn't. This looks like a nice place in this place. A lot of statues. Ladies and gentlemen, it's my pleasure to once again present the hottest little number this side of the Rockies. And when I say my pleasure, I think you all know what I'm talking about, am I right? So let's have a big L kid welcome for the one, the only, Trixie Trotter. Out of my way, kid. I got some sorrows to drown. Looks like there's Dunny. Sounds familiar. First of all, let's go cook the kids some. Nice suit. Where'd you get it? Costume shop at the mall. Uh, I, I had a custom made. Yeah? Quality material. Who are you? Where are you from? My name's, uh, Sonny Crockett. Nobody. I mean, you don't know me. I come from a, a very different place. Come on. What's the dough? Spill it, bro. Go easy, kid. From the cut of the suit, I'm thinking he might be with the Valenti gang. Is that so? Yes. Uh, yes? Prove it. You ain't leaving until you show me some bona fides. Alright, you want me to show some bona fides? Take this, mate. I've got a little something here that might convince you. Don't even blink. It's not a real gun, it's not a real gun, I swear. It's a gift from Don Valenti, see? To your family from mine, in gratitude for your continued service, J.J. Valenti. Looks like little Sonny Crockett here really is with the Sacramento boys. You got stones, Pee-wee. I like that. Have yourself a drink on the house. Matches, put down your gun. You look like a moron. <sighs> yeah, you kind of do matches. So now we're in ki kids' good graces. Let's talk to Zen. Hey, bartender. What'll it be? What are you drawing? Another celebrity caricature? You drew those? Prohibition ain't gonna last forever, Bob. I gotta have a skill I can fall back on when all this goes away. So about this, uh, portrait gallery of yours. What about it? What's it all about? Who are those guys? 
<clears throat> the caricatures hanging along the Wall of Honor commemorate those who are no longer with us on account of having ticked off one Irving Kid Tenon. Did the guys the kids killed? Of course not. They're just a bunch of guys that kid didn't particularly like, and that at a later date yeah. turned up dead. It's yeah, a, sure. a, what do you call yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. Circumstantial coincidence. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Think you can do a caricature of me? Sure. Presto! That really doesn't look like me. I didn't have much to work with. Who are you working on now? Boris Karloff. What do you think? Not bad. Uh, I'm looking for a cop named Parker. Then this is your lucky night. He's sitting next to you. Uh, him? Yep. Quite a sob story, that guy. Sob story? Oh, yeah. Job troubles, dame troubles, psychiatric troubles. You name it. You get him in the right frame of mind, he'll talk your ear off about him. Right frame of mind, hmm. What can you tell me about Trixie? You trying to put the moves on kids, Dane? No way. Good, because if you did, I'd probably be hanging you on the wall of honor. Know what I mean? Thanks for the talk. Next time, order a drink. This ain't no library, you know. Okay, now we can talk to Trixie. Excuse me, are you Trixie Trotter? That's what it says on my dressing room door. At least, it would if I had a dressing room. I really like your voice. Thanks. You should hear me when I ain't so under the weather. You're sick? Oh yeah, sore throat. That's why I'm giving Q-Ball so many extended solos tonight. I kind of wondered about that. I don't care. What are those? Are they lyrics for one of your songs? I haven't memorized them yet. What's a nice guy like you doing with a guy like Tannen? Oh, kid ain't so bad. He just takes some- Hey Toots, any chance you could sing that can-can number? The guys really love the way it shows off your, uh, assets. Whatever you say, kid. <laughs> and quit lazing around. I ain't paying you to yak with the drunks. You ain't paying me at all, you bum. What were we talking about again? You were telling me what a great guy kid is. Yeah, I guess he is a pretty crummy boyfriend. But until my insurance policy checks out, I guess I'm stuck with him. Insurance? Yeah. Look, I may not be the brightest bulb in the marquee, but even I know, you don't break up with a creep-like kid without something to keep him from going all crazy on you. What's this insurance policy no, all about? Policy. Are you kidding? There's only one person I trust with my secrets, but I ain't seen him in weeks. Let me guess. Me. Arty McFly. Arty McFly. You know him? Not as well as I thought. Before he took a powder, Arty was tutoring me in all sorts of stuff. Etiquette, philosophy, accountant. He's a regular renaissance man. He even had one of those smart guy professor's pipes, see? Can I borrow this? Sure. I've been secretly working on my get out of kid card for weeks now. But Arty's the only one I trust to check my work. You can't be too careful when you're dealing with a maniac like kid, you know? Very true. If I arrange a meeting with Artie, could you use that insurance of yours? Use it? Heck, if what I'm sitting on pans out, I could send that bozo all the way to the big house. I'll see what I can do. Break a leg out there. Thanks. She's supposed to turn on Kid Tannen tonight? Okay, Doc, if you say so. 
Okay, now so obviously we need to go switch some lyrics. Have a copy of some. Do you think I could have a copy of your You Should Care lyrics? I've uh, got a club of my own that could really use some inspiring. Sure! Let me just get a page out of the hymnal. There you are. Hey, thanks. See ya. Keep fighting the good fight. That's all I needed from you. I know what I need to do next. Duck. Hmm. Oh, I've just noticed that. Look at that sign there, folks. Shark. Doesn't that remind you of another film? Like Jaws. Obviously, another reference. Hey, Doc, I could use a little help. What's the problem? I saw him. Who? My grandpa. On his streetcar for just a second. Doc, we gotta find him. Why? Trixie thinks she's got something that could put Kid away, but Artie's the only one who can tell her for sure. I guess he's kind of her tutor or something. Ah, so that's the connection. When your grandfather disappeared from Hill Valley for two months, the bond between him and Miss Trotter was severed, eventually leading to a timeline in which Trixie lost her nerve to betray Tan. Yeah? We've got to find your grandfather. Any sign of Artie? Haven't spotted him yet. Are you sure Tannen's supposed to be arrested by Officer Parker? The guy's a mess. Mess or no mess, I'm absolutely certain that Parker's your man. In fact, it's his arrest of Tannen that will eventually lead him to become Hill Valley's chief of police. That seems really unlikely. Okay, I better get back to fixing history. Be careful, Marty. Oh, don't worry, Doc, I will be. I now need to go find Arte, and I can't remember how you find Arte. So let's concentrate. But no, we don't need to do that. I remember now. Einstein, I need your nose again. Hey, boy, take away for this. Let's go. Yeah, I love that nose. Is that on there? Looks like someone's been watching a movie. I've been laying low, officer, but I've got to go to the pictures once in a while. Hello, Arthur. Officer? I'll, I'll take it from here, but... But... We can talk in the Majestic, away from prying eyes. Yeah, Einstein, you done good. Yes, we have been good. Now we should go to the Majestic. Hey, Doc, I could use a little help. What's the problem? Is Artie still here? He's in the bathroom. Hey, Artie, open up. You've got a gangster to bring down. Is it time for me to meet this Sylvia? No, it's time for you to meet Trixie. Trixie says she's got something that might be able to send Kid up the river, but that you're the only one she trusts to check it out. Me? What is she? Oh, I know what she's done. Clever. Care to let us in on the secret? Sorry, guys, but if Trixie's keeping it a secret, then well, so you am I. I. That's all well and good, good Mr. McFly, but if you Idiot. and Trixie are going to collaborate on this evidence, we'll need to arrange a rendezvous. Well, Trixie's chained to kids' speakeasy. So we'll have to bring Arthur to Trixie. Uh-uh. No way am I getting anywhere near that place again. 
I don't know how you talked me into this. Just stay back here in the shadows and don't come out until you see Trixie. You're sure I'll be safe here? Perfectly safe. We'd never make you take any unnecessary... <gasps> Sagan. With his kid. Don't worry. Right. Well. I think for now, we'll leave it there. Thank you for watching folks, I've been Gun Games, and I shall see you next time.